second part of what I wanted to talk about was the concept of carrying a weapon to defend yourself. My great grandfather, Sherman, he carried a pistol in his pocket every day. It wasn't technically legal then, I bet. It, Maybe it was at some point, it wasn't another point. I don't know exactly his, the history behind it all, I don't. But I know that we have more, what would you say, liberty now than we did for a large amount of time as far as carrying weapons to be concealed, uh, was frowned upon and whatnot in a lot of places early on even, earlier on in American history than people realized. The point is, my great-grandfather, who I'm named after, carried a, po uh, a pocket pistol everywhere. Why? Because you might need that. It's very possible. Maybe you only need it once in your life. But you can determine the outcome sometimes, and you can't expect God to do all the work. Teach your fingers to fight. Please, for the sake of all of us, for the sake of your loved ones. Take responsibility. I'll help guide as many people as I can, just as others have guided me. carry a weapon, carry things that can save lives. It's no different than a fire extinguisher, an emergency medicine for someone who needs that, for someone who you don't even know that may need it even. A firearm is a tool, not a tool of evil. All tools can be used for good or evil. Even tools such as coffee or alcohol in the extreme, they can become, I'm not calling coffee evil, but it can become a problem that can cause bad. Or you could use things to your benefit, and if it helps you, then it's good. It's not difficult. It's a daunting task. Society's living it good right now. Even a lot of poor people have places to go and live like kings. God bless those who don't. But like I said, we can't expect God to do all the work. Let's keep each other safe. Right? Weapons. This one's beautiful, I believe. And there'd be so many people that would think... That's weird, but I don't care what people think. I've always carried a weapon since I was what I would consider a very young man. And I'm not an old man. I'm still a young man. I've been blessed to be guided by so many good men and women in many ways. But it all adds up to the same word. Character. Define your character with good attributes and gaining skills and education. Isn't that a basic concept? It's philosophical. It applies to all endeavors of life. I'm just focusing on taking responsibility for your safety and the safety of people around you. But it's a big responsibility. And if you want to get into it, then get into it all the way. It's not something that you can just go buy a, a pistol and shoot it at the range or go take some concealed carry license training 
it's not really, it's kind of a crash course if you want, want to even call it that. Seek professional training. Use the resources online. That's what I'm saying. That's what I've done. I have a testimony that it will help you become a much more honorable individual and much more prepared. That's what I have to say. I'm still on my path. I'm not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Am I, and I don't mean it perfect as a individual known as, I mean perfect in my skills. I, I'm slightly above average in some things, below average in others. But I try. We must try. Let's take responsibility and take this country back and defend ethics, defend what is right and good in this world from the evil. No matter the cost, no matter the sacrifice, it's a worthy cause. It's the only cause worth fighting for and dying for. Let their causes crumble because they will. They shout. God bless you all. We're going to need it.